honey. <laughs> I feel so fortunate to be here today marrying you again. You have been my best friend and life partner for the last eight years, and I'm glad to get to share each day with you. From college, long distance, living together in Chicago, to now in Davidson, it keeps getting better each day and each year. Our love is so easy and natural. I'm so thankful that you chose me to be your husband, and I promise to prioritize you in our marriage. We've built such a great life together, and I can't wait to continue to grow with you. You're an amazing wife and dog mom, and I know you are going to be an amazing mother someday. Seeing your love and compassion for Tuck and Gracie makes me so excited to raise a family with you. Your strength, passion, and loyalty make you the woman that you are and that I love so much. You make me so happy. I look forward to coming home to you each night. There's no better stress reliever for me than sitting on the couch with you and the dog. You're my soulmate, and I've known that since 2013. You're the most beautiful bride who deserves to be this happy every day of your life. I love you so much, and I always will. In case you're wondering, it says to my love, love letter number one. Number one. Okay. Carter, when I first met you, I was broken. I did not know what it meant to be in a relationship that was based on love. Not the kind of love you think of when you first hear that four-letter word, but the real version. Profound, unconditional, true, and selfless. You have stood by my side through the best days of my life, and the worst ones too. You have loved me when I was lost. You have loved me when I was reckless. You have loved me when I was grieving. And I can honestly say, I'm standing here today with a full heart because you have made me whole. I am no longer broken. I know that life will surely test us with obstacles and circumstances out of our control, but I have no doubt in my mind that we will get through whatever comes our way. I love this beautiful, crazy life with you, and I promise I will spend every day the rest of my life thanking my lucky stars that we came into each other's lives that night all those years ago. I can't wait to marry you again. I love you with all that I am. <laughs> oh, look at your dress. It's so pretty. <laughs>
and Lauren Micklem's celebration of marriage. Thank you for traveling all this way. We're so happy to see everyone together to celebrate this union. Carter and Lauren, it is a pleasure to share today's very special occasion with you. Many people believe that entering into marriage is the final step in a romantic relationship. As they see it, a couple meets, gets to know each other, falls in love, decides they want to go through life together, and then take the final step, marriage. But marriage is not meant to be the final step in a couple's relationship. It is really just the beginning of a grand adventure that hopefully will be long and fruitful for each couple. At this time, we would like to honor the love of Lauren's mother. She may not be with us today, but we feel her love all around us. And we know that the sun is shining above from her. She witnessed Lauren and Carter's love grow. She supported them through difficult times. And we are filled with gratitude that she continues to watch over them. Let us take a moment to acknowledge the light and love she shares with us today. Here is where we would traditionally ask Carter and Lauren to place rings on each other's fingers, but as you know, they already beat us to it. <laughs> on their wedding day, they exchanged rings in front of a small gathering of friends and family. Even though it was a small crowd, joy and happiness radiated from all around. I would like to take a moment to ask you that, to share your joy and happiness today. Please give a round of applause for Carter and Lauren, whom we hold so dear in our hearts. <laughs> Carter and Lauren, I ask that you each remember to continue to cherish each, other's, each other as special and unique individuals, and that you each respect the thoughts and ideas of one another. And most of all, be able to forgive each other and not hold grudges against one another. Live each day in love with each other, always being there to give love, comfort, and refuge to each other in good times and bad. Carter and Lauren, today you have reaffirmed the promises and vows you made to each other a year ago, but this time you got to do it the right way. In the presence of all those who love and cherish you, and we are so grateful that we got to witness this today. It is with great pleasure that I now announce again and finally, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Micklem, Carter, you may kiss your wife. <laughs>